I'm not talking about anger. I'm not talking about using our physical strength in, a, in, in an uh, overcoming way. I'm talking about a spanking. L- listen, God gave us a pad. <laughs> Some of us have even grown our pad larger. <laughs> which may be in, in the... Okay, well, anyway, so <laughs> the point is it's from... God gave this, God, this is the Bible. Do you understand? This is the best book on child rearing. And I promise you, you don't do it, you'll see the fruit. And if you do it, listen, this is a heaven and hell issue. That's what the Bible says. You will deliver his soul from hell. It's how important it is. So I would turn them over then and I would spank them and then immediately I would hold them. Sometimes they would push away. They'd be angry. I'd just hold on to him because I am stronger. And I'd hold on to him and, and I'd let him cry for about 30 seconds to a minute. I never timed. I don't know exactly how. And then I would say to him, shh, shh, okay. Okay, stop. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Okay, now you need to stop crying. And sometimes they would cry in rebellion. You could sense it. They'd say, ah! You know, you'd say, okay. <laughs> it's amazing how many of you relate to this sermon. It's okay, you need, you need to stop crying. And then I would say to him, okay, listen to me. You're crying in rebellion right now. You're being rebellious. And if you don't stop crying, I'm going to spank you again. <laughs> yes. And then they say, I, I, I can't. <laughs> you, know, you know, the little. <laughs> and so I'd say, okay, you, you need to stop because you can stop. If you don't stop, you're going to spank him. And then you get the, <laughs> you know, that's okay. They were bringing their will under submission. And I would hold them. I would hug them. I would hug them. I would heal them. I would tell them I love them. Here's number seven. Be confirming. Be confirming. Release forgiveness. This is very important. Release forgiveness. Reaffirm your love. And rejoice with them. You, you say, well, why do you rejoice? Because it's over. It's over. It's a good time to rejoice. So release forgiveness, reaffirm your love. So here's what I would do. I would take their hands. I would say, hold, hold daddy's hands. I would say, now, I want you to ask daddy to forgive you. I want you to ask me to forgive you. Say, daddy, and I'd lead them. Daddy, will you forgive me? And then when they say it, I would look, I'd say to them, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Now let's ask God. And say, and I, no, oh, I forgot, I'd say, will you forgive me for disobeying? I wanted them to know what it was for always. And then I would lead them in a prayer, and I'd say, say this after me. Say, dear God, dear God, please forgive me for disobeying. Okay. And then I would say, Jesus' name, and they, normally before I'd get that, they'd say, amen. You know, <laughs> it's over. And I'd say, amen, it's over. I want you to know, son, it's over. It's over, okay? Then I would be, re- reaffirm my love. I'd say, why did daddy spank you? Here's what they'd say, because I disobeyed. I'd say, uh-huh, but why else did daddy spank you? Because he loves me. I'd say, why does daddy spank you? Because he loves me. And I'd say to him too, and I want to tell you something, daddy loves you a lot. He loves you a lot. You understand? So daddy loves you. And I would reaffirm my love, and I would release forgiveness to them. And then I would rejoice. I would do, I don't know how God taught me these things, but he did in his grace, and maybe so I could help other people. But uh, I, I remember one of the first times I spanked Josh, I went to the door, and for some reason, this thought just came to my mind, and it was the Holy Spirit, and I went to grab the door, and I went, oh, like it was hot, and he went, kind of went, oh. <laughs> and then I went to grab him, oh, you know, like that. So I started doing something fun with them every time after I would discipline them, every time. Now, can I tell you again, this takes time, but the fruit's incredible, and let me say this. That time passes more quickly than you think because I'm about to release my last one. It's already gone. I had my time with them, and it's so important. Let me tell you one more thing that happened that I've never forgotten in my life. One time when I was spanking, after I spanked my oldest son, Josh, he was about two and a half years old, maybe three, got up, we played, we did some things. You know, sometimes I would act like I'd trip. I'd find a quarter you know, and give it to him. I just did anything I could to let him know it was over. But I picked him up, and I'm holding my arms, and we're about to leave, 
And I opened the door, and he reached his hand out and stopped the door from opening. And I looked at him, and he stopped the door, and he said to me, Daddy, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Listen, correction, discipline is not supposed to be harsh. It is not punitive. It is correcting, and it is loving. I want you to bow your heads and close your eyes. What's the Holy Spirit saying to you? If you have children, I, under, I understand you may be getting some really good things or if you're going to have children one day. But maybe you don't have children and maybe you're an empty nester, and, but God can still speak. So ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what are you saying to me? There may be some friends of yours that are in this stage with their children that are looking for answers. And you could help them now with these principles. We, we want to pray for you. If you're, maybe you're going through a difficulty even with a grown child. Maybe you're going through a difficulty in your marriage or your family, with your health, with your finances. We want to pray for you. What, whatever prayer, type of prayer, kind of prayer, whatever situation you're in, we want to help you. And no matter which campus you're attending, you may be at the South Lake campus, the North Richland Hills campus, you may be in an overflow room, you may be at Harkins Theater, but if you need prayer, we want to pray for you. So here's what we're going to do. In just a moment, we're going to stand at all the campuses, and we're going to have leaders here at the front. And if you need prayer for any reason at all, and some of you need to submit your will to God, You've been rebellious your whole life, and you know you have. And maybe you need to give your life to God. You need to ask Jesus to come into your life and be your Lord and Savior. Or you need, maybe you need to give your life back to God. You've been through a rebellious time, and you need to give your life back to God. But if you may just need prayer in any area, if you need prayer in any area of your life, please don't be embarrassed. You don't have to be a big, bad sinner to come for prayer. You don't have to be a member of Gateway Church. If you need prayer in any campus... As soon as we stand up, then just stand up, step out and come, and let us pray for you, all right? Holy Spirit, I pray you'll draw every person at every campus, every person that has any prayer need, in Jesus' name, amen.